now being joined by Mark Merowitz. He's a political commentator, also a professor at State University of New York Maritime College. Mark, welcome to the program, and it's good to see you. Looking at the polls and what Americans are saying, do you think the new sheriff, as he's being called right now, would beat Donald Trump or even Ron DeSantis? Is there a likelihood of that happening? Well, I think that, you know, polls early in the situation are, are not definitive. But I, in terms of the poll that you're looking at uh, with Vivek Ramaswamy, I think it's important to look at that recent poll and understand what it means. So, for example, in that poll, the Emerson College says that 82 percent of those who supported Trump in the high numbers that you reported on would not change their vote. But 53 percent of those who supported Ramaswamy might or could change their vote. That's important. Also, there's a margin of error of 3 percent. What does that mean? Well, if the college poll of Emerson College says 10 percent each, that could mean 13 percent for one and 7 percent for the other. And so therefore, and I also say there are many, many other polls. So in terms of where we are right now, Trump is way ahead of everyone else. And DeSantis, as has been reported, is afraid of Ramaswamy. There was a memo that was released right. that said, in point number three, they actually printed out on the web, hammer Ramaswamy in the debate. That's pretty interesting. Uh, so there's a lot going on here. And in terms of the points that were raised uh, that you talked about, a lot of Ramaswamy's points or political points are really out there. You know, he's against the Ukraine war. He is against the CDC and the IRS and the FBI. Mm -hmm. He wants the voting age to be 25, but voters, young voters would also have to pass a civics test like those administered to new immigrants. So he has a ton of things. In addition, I believe he said that the United States should support Taiwan only until 2028 um, and on and on. So he's really out there. And I think in many respects, this shows his inexperience since he would be the youngest president at 38 ever elected in this country. The youngest presidents were Teddy Roosevelt and John F. Kennedy in their 40s. And they also had some experience, uh, Teddy Roosevelt and John F. Kennedy, wartime experience, political experience. Uh, Vivek Ramaswamy is a very uh, accomplished business executive, but he's maybe not a politician. And also, Mark, maybe he's Mark. there to, um, to be the siphon for Trump. I'm not really sure. All right, Mark, before you... All right continue describing Ramaswamy for us. I just want you to know, um, or I, I just wanted to know from you, having watched Vivek Ramaswamy, in your own view, how would you describe him? Oh, he's an enormously charismatic individual. Um, he has a very powerful political personality. I think he way up there in terms of uh, persona. Uh, you know, maybe he would be a good vice presidential candidate, but he said he doesn't want to be. So the fact that he's stepping in right now, I think is quite impressive. And um, I think he's uh, potentially rising. But the reason is because of this Trump, DeSantis and all the other candidates, as long as Trump is sitting there and, this, and that Ramaswamy is supporting Trump, which is kind of kind of an odd situation. Um, it's unlikely any of those other candidates are going to advance. And maybe he's thinking or they're thinking that Trump will somehow be out of it. Although we see that the more indictments come down, the more Trump becomes popular. So my description of him is uh, very positive, except that I think in terms of his positions, I think he has to be careful in making statements, particularly about Taiwan and otherwise. We've seen that in American history where political leaders make statements that are interpreted by foreign leaders and even our adversaries, America's adversaries, and that is problematic. If you want to be president, I, th I think sometimes you have to be circumspect, but the trick is what to say in the campaign to get ahead but not cause issues or difficulties for American foreign policy. All right. 2024 okay. is a long way ahead. So many changes might happen from now till then. So let's 
wait and see. Thank you very much, Mark Merowitz, for talking to us. He's a political commentator and also a professor at State University of New York Maritime College. Mark, thank you for talking to We On World is One today. Thank you very much. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.